Two examples here are showing how to use descriptive statistics in Excel to compute mean, median, variance, standard deviation, and um, statistics like that. So imagine the first data is a bunch of students, so 12 of them, and then the height reported for each of them in hypothetical scenario. So let's say we want to find uh, the mean, median, uh, and variance, and a standard deviation, and so on, uh, so on and so forth for this height. So what you do in the fastest way, so assuming that you have enabled uh, the free analysis tool back in your Excel, you would go to, uh, on the top menu, you would go to ribbon and then select data, and then you would go to uh, the da data analysis here. So if, if you have enabled analysis tool back, that should show up, that should show up. So you select data analysis, and then in the dialog box, click on descriptive statistics, and then it would have this dialog box uh, showing up, this menu, and then you would need to select the uh, range of uh, your data range. In this case, uh, I would like to have it from B, B1 up to, uh, up to the B13. And then of course, the column of data, that's, how, that's why the column is selected. And of course, the first, uh, the first cell is the label. So this is clicked. And then output range, I don't want it to be in a new uh, worksheet. I want it to be the same sheet of data sheet here. So I click this one and then here you would select where you want the information to be posted. So let's say I want it to be posted here. <clears throat> okay, so with that in mind, um, and then out of these four options, you have to select one. In this case, we don't want confidence uh, in level for me. We just want the sum of your statistics. So you're done. As soon as you do this, it reports back to you uh, the uh, summary stats, or basically the descriptive stats, which mean mean standard deviation, median mode, um, that mean is standard error, median mode is standard deviation, variance, kurtosis, skewness, range means the delta between maximum and minimum. So max minus mean, which are these two values, the, the delta is 60, and then sum, and then count. In this case, you can see that there are 12 students who were asked for this information in this data set. So this is super fast. If you wanted to separately compute, then you should have done it this way as, uh, as uh, it's simple using uh, Excel function uh, for computation of mean, you should have used average, and then you should have selected uh, the 12 data that you have. And then you get this 164 that is roughly recorded here. Um, if you want to, uh, let's say, compute median, you should have done equal to median and then select this function. And then you have to select the data range and uh, then be done with it. It's matching roughly this one. Of course, the reason these are not matched is because I need to select the format of the data properly. So format cell, you go to number and then you would select maybe two, uh, let's say, decimal places. And uh, you would see that it almost matches what is reported there. So if you wanted to select mode, you would say equal to mode, the older version back in uh, Excel 2007, and you will select the whole thing and done. It means it's matching in this number that is automatically calculated effectively uh, this, this formula. Variance, same as before, you would say equal to var, uh, dot s it's the sample variance and then you would select the data range and uh, you would close the parentheses and then that's the number matching this number as you see and of course the standard deviation either you do the square root of this the standard deviation is square root of variance or you would say is std dot s so a standard deviation sta st standard dev so dot s and then the column so you have to select this column and close the parentheses and done Okay, so all, all I'm trying to say is we could have done it this way, but uh, using the descriptive stats um, tool, expedite the process. You can repeat this, of course, for the next data set. So it would be straightforward. In that case, I would just uh, select the whole data. So select the top, control shift, down key. So the whole thing is selected if you want. And then the same procedure, go to the top menu, select data in the ribbon and then uh, go to the analyze group, select the data analysis. This uh, menu shows up or dialog box, select the descriptive statistic, select okay. This menu pops up. For the data range, uh, you need to properly select the 15 up to the end. So up to this number, of course, is a column data. The first uh, cell is a label, so keep this checked. And then output range, I want it to be say here or I don't know, say here, doesn't matter. 
And, uh, and of course, summary statistics is the target. So let's select. And you can see the data shows up properly. So it's the same, similar format. You have uh, summary stats, mean, standard deviation, standard error, median mode, standard deviation, variance, and so on and so forth. But this time for the data, again, it, it quickly detected that the minimum is 141 centimeter, maximum is 218. The delta between 218 and 141 is the range, which is 77 centimeter. Uh, there are 91 data in this, uh, the count is 91. So there are 91 students in this case. The size of data is 91. And the same procedure to compute these mean and median and mode and standard deviation and variance, as I reported here, if you would have wanted to compute them separately without using the descriptive statistic tool in Excel. All right, I hope that this quick overview is helpful in terms of being able to use uh, the descriptive statistic tool under the analysis tool pack under the anal analyze uh, group. So there are many cap good functionality and capabilities here, but one of the good, very good one is this descriptive statistics as we discussed today.